Hello everyone, it's a bit of row. Today here with you, the sign of Pisces. My dear ones, I am bringing here this message for you today. This is spiritual messages, always with God's permission. Let's get started here, Pisces. The spirituality is asking me here to talk about love today. There is this spiritual mentor that wants to send you this message. Maybe it's not for everyone, so please take a look in your ascendant sign too. And I am available for this private reading directed for your, for your energy, my dears. So I have here this message from the spiritual team. And this mentor is asking here for me to start with love. For someone that is in a specific situation here, let's see here what he wants to say. I have already felt this energy here. Yes, Pisces, I can feel here that you have broken up your relationship not so long ago. And during this relationship, it was it has been a long relationship, maybe one, two or more years and during this relationship both you Pisces and the other person you were doing very well you were going forward with the relationship there was respect in your relationship reciprocity dinners tours I could see here that you had a great life together a lot of activities that was common for you too. There was this kind of involvement very strong here with your family. But, and I can see here that one of the families were very resistant. They, I think that their family, they, didn't like you very much the I can see this very strong energy of resistance here related to you Pisces there was something on you that a fam that this family didn't like but you were moving forward you were going ahead with the relationship you were a couple that everybody invited you to go out, everybody had this friendship with you, but with the time passing, I see here that you, Pisces, and this person, you became much more friends than lovers in this relationship. And I see here that this person was missing the passion, the desire, and for some reason... And normally this is one spiritual weakness. This person didn't put this issue on the table. You didn't talk through. And this person simply abandoned the relationship. And this has caused you something very difficult. And this is still being difficult here for you. This rejection caused a emotional, spiritual conflict in you, Pisces. It have, has shocked what you were seeing as a dynamic of the relationship because you thought everything was fine and suddenly you lost this person. But what is happening now is that you, Pisces, and this another person, you are living, you are letting the pride dominate here, the pride control. Because you didn't even try to talk to this person anymore, reveal this relationship. But everything that you tried to try in one very aggressive way. And I can see here that this person probably somehow got involved with a friend, with some single friends. Uh, this person was in a search for what this person was not finding anymore in your relationship. And I can see here that with time passing, you, Pisces, you are more, you are more silent, you are quieter, you are, 
looking now for a loving stability with someone through a relationship. And this person here, this other person, is having these memories about you now. How many things you used to do together. What this person meant to you. This person misses the complicity that this that she had with you, Pisces. The conversations, the affection. As you were also missing these memories, these things. But you are very proud people here. And this kind of pride is preventing you of changing. Of going ahead with a new relationship. And also... Of returning to this old person here for you to talk again. I don't see here you exchanging messages anymore. I don't see you here trying to get closer of this person. Let's get close here, Pisces. Let's heal this dry, this, this karma here. Because I see you and this person feeling a lot of pride here. Your ego, it's over everything. So this is the message that I'm receiving here from this mentor spirit. Saying that pride, my dear Pisces, don't let this pride overcome everything in your life. And I can see here that this, the mentor of this partner is trying to, through dreams, contact so that this person leave the pride behind. This ego behind. So you both, you are being connected through your spiritual mentor so that you abandon this pride. And you have all these questions, these issues here solved because you are creating a karma. And when a karma is not healed, it doesn't open the door to another relationship. So there isn't this possibility of solving new problems because if you go ahead now is that you will be always starting relationships that doesn't that don't have progress they don't go very far they end very soon because you are blocked so this is the message here for your spiritual mess, me mentor for some of you, Pisces, this is not for everyone. So check it if this situation resonates with yours. And as I always say, you have to see your rising sign, your ascendant sign here. And, or else look for a particular or uh, private reading directed to your energy. I can see here, Pisces, that your situation here, it's a situation that must be solved. So if you had this dramatic breakup, and now I'm going to talk to the Pisces that have no problem with the past, that you have already solved all the issues and you are looking for new relationships. Here he's saying that probably you will have two options, because here I can see two options coming for you. One is one option of someone that wants to have a more open, quiet situation, maybe just moments of love, of passion. But there is this other person that this kind of this person is kind of hidden, still hidden. This person wants a relationship, but this, this person doesn't have courage to talk to you, Pisces. Because this person here, it's maybe someone that is part of your social life. Maybe it's a friend. Maybe it's a friend of a friend of yours. And then this person knows everything that is happening in your life. This person is noticing that you are not open yet, that you are still carrying a lot of hurt here. So this person doesn't approach you because she's afraid that you haven't resolved all the situations in your life. 
And some other situation for some of you, this person is, it's a person that maybe had a relationship with a friend of your friends. And maybe this person is afraid that you don't want to open up to her because of this friendship. Or maybe I see here other option. Or maybe it's someone that will not be living so long in the place where you live. And maybe you will discover this and you won't accept this person because you want someone close to you. So I see these two situations here. I can see here that this person is someone from the health area and is a person that has a lot of spirituality. It's a person that has been for a long time in your social networks. It's a person that is always trying to find out something about you. And I can see here that if you are in a loving relationship, already married or living together in one stable relationship, I can see you're a faithful person. I can see that is a person who brings you a lot of security because spices you like this uh, security, the sensation of security. This is a faithful person. It's a loyal person. And I can see here that this person will make a surprise for you. Maybe one invitation to, a, to some kind of trip. This person thinks a lot. This person is working hard to be able to go on a trip or move to another place, maybe near the coast. I can see this very strongly too. So today the reading for you, my dears, is this loving reading. And now it's about love. Now I'm gonna talk I'm gonna tell you about a message that the spiritual guides are are saying here something. Let me use this another deck here of cards. There is this relationship here for you. I can tell you the maximum until August you're going to have this stable relationship. Maybe it's a person from other city. Maybe it's a person or maybe it's a person who is thinking of moving abroad. This person has a financial stability. Maybe it's a very different person. But you have to be open up to the new things. This is what the spirituality is saying here for you. Now I'm going to draw these cards, which is one spiritual message for you, Pisces. Let's see here what the spirituality wants to tell you. My dear Pisces, you are... I can see here that you have had this negative energy lately. I can see you discouraged with everything, not believing in yourself, in your potential, in your intuition. Pisces, you are very intuitive. You have a lot of spirituality. But in this moment, you are having a lot of doubts. And then spirituality is telling me here that there is a bad presence around you. Maybe it's not in your house, but maybe it's in your work, at your work here. And... For some of you at work, you have this kind of obsessor, this bad presence here in your work because this person, this obsessor is very close to a person, to a boss. And then this obsessor enters there in your work is, is sucking the energy of all the employees. My dears, when this happens, go to my channel, ATB New World, so... You go there and because I explained there how to do this cleaning ritual. So for this to happen, you, ha you have to believe to get spiritualized. So I always invite you, my dears, let's spiritualize together. Let's go on this journey of knowledge, of love and light. Because life changes. Let's leave behind all these negative issues that they put on newspapers and journals. On the media so let's focus in love let's focus on the positive things remember I can I deserve I receive I share and I think my dear is in the link here below you can click and go directly to my whatsapp and there you can talk to me or to my team and we can schedule 
this live session directed to your reading. We are having now great discounts this month. So we can also have your numerology done and discover what your life's mission. So click on the link and let's talk to me. Thank you.